France has so many strategic assets in Indo-Pacific region because France's exclusive economic zone is beyond its political boundary. The French Pacific exclusive economic zone is the largest with 6.8 million kilometers distributed around four hubs between Australia and Mexico. They include Clipperton, French Polynesia, New Caledonia, and Wallis and Futuna. Owing to its high stakes in Indo-Pacific region, France has emerged as one of the most important European nations in the region. It has specially grounded itself in bilateral and multilateral defense cooperation pacts. Recently, the recently the Paris is talking with the Tokyo, Tokyo to thwart the Chinese monopoly in the Indo-Pacific region. That's why the Japan and the France deepen their ties. In a virtual 2 plus 2 security ministerial meeting, Japan and France agreed to embolden their cooperation in the Indo-Pacific region. Both countries affirmed their commitment to promoting the cooperation to contribute to the rule-based, free, and open Indo-Pacific to do the business freely. Both countries relayed their serious concerns over the situation in the East and the South China Sea. Because of Beijing's growing assertiveness in the region, including the active posturing around the Japanese-administered Shinkaku Island, which China called the Diaoyu, and the claims as its own, and the China is also claiming the South China Sea by saying that that is according to the history, according to the Chinese history, that was the land. During the time that has turned into and see, that's why that is belongs to them. It is pretty much absurd, absurd of claiming an whole sea on the basis of an fudged history they have created. So, additionally, both the countries also express their concerns over the North Korea's missile development program. North Korea is kind of an Achilles heel in that region because North Korea recently tested the rail-borne ballistic missile system. They have also tested the hypersonic missile systems. So that is why. the japan is very much concerned and france is also concerned about this kind of development japan has backing the vision of free and the open in the pacific as a counter to the rising assertiveness of the china in the maritime domain the france is also seeking to look after the strategic interest in the region two governments also discussed in potential framework to liberalize the restrictions on the transportations of the weapons and the supplies for the joint training they are they are development they are developing their talk in the defense level they are trying to cooperate in the defense cooperations so that is why they have deepened deepened their ties what is the strategic importance of indo pacific the indo pacific is a very important region on the geopolitical point of view and the business point of view from the geo economics point of view that is a very important region because this region consist at least 38 countries together these nations share the 44% world surface area and 65% of its population they account for 62% of world gdp and 46% of the world's merchandise trade In this age of globalization, Indo-Pacific has come to highly rely on the free circulations of the raw materials and consumer goods. This is the primary reasons behind the maritime security. South China Sea and the North China Sea is a critical region for the businesses point of view. The Japan's almost 80% business is being done or being run through this region. the maritime security in the malacca strait and the singapore strait alongside in the south china sea and the bay of bengal remains the crucial here indo china means that includes the indian ocean region and the pacific ocean region so that is why the bay of bengal malacca strait and the south china sea came together in those region china is trying to show their dominance there is a very large number of french asset operating in the indo pacific region This includes around 1.5 million French population living in the territories such as Reunion Island and the French Polynesia, and the 8,000 military personnel, close to 15 warships and 40 aircrafts, all stationed in here. In here means the in Reunion Island and the French Polynesian Island. 
there is an extensive diplomatic and the defense network in the area comprising 18 defense attaches accredited in the 33 countries which the contributes to French maritime domain awareness. 93% of the Paris exclusive economic zone is located in India and the Pacific Oceans. This area has stolen the spot of the center of the gravity of the global economy from the Atlantic region. France also have the valuable asset in the Mayotte and the Djibouti and the UAE, United Arab Emirates, that covers the northern Indian Ocean to the southern Indian Ocean as well as the sea lanes of the communications in the region. That is why the France is trying to trying to uh, influence, trying to increase their influence in the Indo-Pacific region because of the Chinese dominance. What are the defense strategies that, that the France is taking to protest, to protect their asset in this region against the Chinese aggressions? Indo-Pacific is France's priority geographic axis and the key zone of interest. It called for a greater concentration of the Paris military defense, military presence in the area so as to protect the French national interest. France is trying to improve its military balance in the Indo-Pacific region. It has significantly depend its strategic partnership with the countries such as Australia, India, Japan, South Korea, Indonesia, New Zealand and Singapore. The, the Paris does these largely through the arms cooperation enhanced information sharing on the joint maritime exercise. The France is also helping the India. Recently, the France have sold their French Dassault Rafale to India, 36, 36 French Rafale, Dassault Rafale to India. The France is also trying to sell the defense, defense goods, other defense goods related to the submarines and the other aircrafts. They are trying to sell it to the India. They are trying to develop the engines of the engines for the India's indigenously developed uh, air force, Indian indigenously developed aircrafts. That is why the France and the India deal is very important. But here is here we are focusing in the French French interest in the Pacific and the Indo Pacific region. The French armed forces not only contribute to the stability of the stability of the areas that are relevant to the France security interest, but also provides the safety guarantees to the Paris allies and the partners in the region. France used those islands in the Indo-Pacific region for the regular drills and the patrols in the region. Its base in the Djibouti in the Africa also provides a tactical importance location because India is also using the French base in the Djibouti to counter the China. India is also using the Dukam in the Oman and also using the Chabahar in Iran to counter the China. China is trying to capture the strategically important port in those regions by using their string of pulse policy, by giving the loan to the countries, those who have defaulted on, on giving them the loans. But recently, Australia's decision in the AUKUS submarine deal created a tension between the France and the Australia because Australia basically uh, had a deal with the France to have an submarine, so often diesel submarine from France. But recently, the United States and the UK made a deal with Australia to give them the nuclear power submarine. That has become a very, very, very un uneasy position for the France to accept that kind of deal without, without asserting the France in those deals. Because France is also a nuclear nation and the France also have the nuclear power submarine, the Barracuda submarines. The Chinese factor is a big issue in the Indo-Pacific region. China has emerged as a big player in the Indo-Pacific region in the context of China's increasing economic, political, military presence in the Indian Ocean region, South Asia and the South Pacific, Africa and beyond. China has gained the economic age over some developed nation. Since then, they are trying to dethrone the Western countries from their leadership in the global economy. They are trying to dethrone the United States basically to, to, from, the, from the world leadership of the global economy because United States is actually controlling the world economy through their dollar diplomacy. In addition to investing the capital abroad, the China soon began establishing producing or establishing the production and the transportation standard in order to gain the comparative advantage 
for the Chinese manufacturing. The Beijing economic strategy was next coupled with more military deployments. Initially, this just reflected the strategic consequences of its economic performance. In becoming a world economic power, it had to protect its access to raw material and its maritime communication routes. Eventually, the China's ambition grew further. The dominate, to dominate the world, they came up with a massive infrastructure project called the Belt and the Road Initiative. They used this policy to colonize the Africa, to colonize the Asian nations for the raw material and the communications. They have colonized, they have almost colonized the Central Asian nations. They have tried to colonize the Central Asian nation because Central Asian nations do have very important assets. They have the huge oil and the gas reserve. They have everything. So that is why China is trying to trying to colonize the countries. Those have uh, huge amounts of resources, natural resources. These are the reasons the world is looking at the China very suspiciously. Also, France is also looking at them very suspiciously. So according to me, with the France, with the France, European Union itself has to come forward and use these French military assets in the Indo-Pacific region to thwart the Chinese dominance. As the France do not want the China's dominance in the Indo-Pacific region, so it is true for the USA too. Because the USA also do not want the China to dominate the Indo-Pacific region and the South China Sea. Reflecting this multilateral approach, the France has enhanced its posture and became a member of the Indian Ocean Rim Association. Indian Ocean Rim Association is an association developed by the India. And France has also joined this to thwart the Chinese presence in the Indian Ocean region. The France has also joined the other regional force such as the South Pacific Defense Ministries. It is also taking part in the coalitions with the partners that share its value. The China is showing their assertive attitude to the Indo-Pacific region, but the European Union is focusing its effort on striking an equilibrium. They are not trying to, right, to contain the Chinese influence in the Indo-Pacific region. They are trying to just con maintain the equilibrium with China to do the business, to the, do the business peacefully. Their attempt is to balance against the China while trying to avoid an escalatory posture towards it. The France is a country who really have the positive attitude against the China's dominance because they understood the China's design to capture the world trade and the world politics. That is why the world have to understand the Chinese policy in those region in in the Indo-Pacific region. China is basically trying to capture, trying to influence those region at its maximum level at his maximum level to put the countries to put the country's business strategy in the jeopardy because when they will going to get the dominance then all the other countries around the world and in that regions have to de have to depend on the chinese manufacturing and the chinese goods that is what the china want and the france understand it that is why we have to cooperate the world have to cooperate with france to protect the strategic asset in the indo-pacific region in India is doing so and the other countries like the Japan, Australia and the uh, USA is also cooperating with the France to thwart the Chinese influence in those regions. Now the question, the first question is when the Quad resumes in 2010, the US Marines were placed near which island of Australia? The first option is Cocoa Island, second option is Darwin, third option is New Guinea. Fourth option is none of the above. The second question is which of the following was included in the spirit of Quad statement released by member countries? The statement, first statement is shared vision for the free and the open in the Pacific. Second is vision for rule based maritime order in East and the South China Sea. The options are from those statement one is only, second option is two is only, third option is both one and two. Fourth option is none of the above. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention.